You know, we're into August now. We're out here fishing, chasing bluegills, chasing bass, chasing whatever. Brody's behind me. I think he's got one on. What do you got there, dude? Oh, it got off. Was it a nice one? He had a nice sunfish or something on, and Ben's over here fishing. And again, big focus lately is beautiful weather, the fish are biting, get the family out there. That's probably priority number one in terms of this week's fishing report is we're in the, the heart of the summer where the yeah. fish are biting. We're on outside weed lines. You can see we're a couple hundred yards away from shore and the fish are out there. The sunfish, the bass, the walleye, the pike, you name it. They're all kind of relating to that same area. And uh, all I have them fishing right now is just little tubes, little two inch uh, Mr. Twister tubes. They're catching everything from sunfish to bass to all the species we talked about. Um, getting on to the, the, the nuts and bolts of things here for, for how the bite's been. We've been still jig worm fishing. I'll show you what I've caught some fish on recently. It's just a uh, eighth ounce jig head, Mr. Twister pocket phenom. That's been catching a lot of fish in terms of bass. We actually caught a bunch of walleyes on that the other day on both uh, Forest Lake and on uh, Lake Minnetonka. And um, one of the other things I've been fishing in terms of, of easy options is just a mushroom head. Most places have mushroom heads, whether it's Thorn Brothers, Cabela's, Fleet Farm. Just those mushroom jig heads work really well. They have good hooking percentage. The ones that have the little hook keeper or the little plaxus keeper is nice. It keeps the plastic on there. And again, I'm just fishing that uh, ribbon tail worm. You know what else has really turned on lately is the wacky rig. We talked about that a couple months back. That was a hot bait. That wacky rig's catching fish again. I'm fishing it weighted and I'm fishing inside pockets, weed lines, that sort of stuff for bass along dock lines. Just catching a lot of fish. Uh, we've been catching some fish on crankbaits still, trolling weed lines. We actually had some, uh, got another one, Brody? Had some nice bass casting crankbaits on those weed lines that work really well. So crankbaits have been an easy way to catch fish or, uh, you know, worst comes to worst, you know, just Lindy rigging that live bait continues to catch fish in a lot of variety of situations, no matter the lake you're on. So, but the panfish right now are on the deep weed lines. We're out here in about 15 to 18 Hi, feet. Ron. Yeah, another bite. And that coon tail, the secret is if you look at your, your uh, locator, I use a Vexla right there on the front of my boat. You can see it up there. I can see those weeds very easily, very nicely. You can see them on, uh, you got one? You can see them on your LCD, whether it's your Lawrence Hummingbird too as well. Look for those weeds out there in deeper water. So when you get up next to the weed line, let's say in that 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 feet, depending on the lake, you can see the weeds, but then move off of it a bit and pay attention to your electronics to find those weeds out deeper. If you can find those weeds in 18 to 20, 22 feet, that's the coontail sometimes. If you can find the rock, even better, and you'll get fish, you get bit. So find <laughs> those- There was a fish. Yeah, little one on? Yeah, like that little. Nice, well, get, him, get him in the boat. Let's show the camera what you guys are catching. And on that outside weed line, that coontail, that seems to be where those bigger schools of fish are, whether it be any species, bass, pike, walleyes, panfish, sunfish, that sort of stuff. I see a um, big bass. You see a big one? Well, catch them. You better catch them. And then the musky fishermen are catching a lot of fish, but the key to the muskies right now, it seems like, is uh, it's all prime time fishing. After dark, early morning, that sort of stuff. We're getting uh, some warm temperatures. Water temps are, are starting the day in the upper 70s. And when we get high suns, it even goes into the 80s for the surface temps. So get out there chasing fish, have some fun. We're gonna have uh, several more weeks of nice warm weather. We can get the kiddos out here catching sunfish, catching crappies, right Brody? And having fun doing it. So that's this week's report. Get out there, get after it. Uh, hopefully we got some more to report this week. It's going to be a busy day, week on the water. Uh, we'll be out there probably pretty much every day. Add another one. Get another one. And uh, hopefully I next week I got some one. really cool tips for you on some very current reports. Going to try and hit three or four different lakes this week and give you another update in terms of uh, areas to fish. So have fun I out got there. Another one. Enjoy, uh, enjoy your summer and then we'll catch you next I week. I got another one.